Hey guys, so I was thinking I'm making videos and I did this really cute purple look yesterday So I'm going to try to recreate that look for you today. Let me show you some of the things that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using my Inglots palette and I'll be using this bluish um, Purplish bluish color right there and this uh, really shimmery purple color The only thing about Inglots that really sucks is you never know the name or the number of the color and I'm not even going to try to take this out so those two um, these colors can be duped with um, let's see if you take your 88 color palette or your your matte palette that you got from Beauty's Factory I do believe there's um, a bluish purple color that you can use to dupe yeah or a light purple you can use this one right there if you don't have that um, and this is in the I think it's the 100 the 88 matte palette it's the middle row the fourth down from the top okay and if you want to use a shimmery purple I would go because this says matte but it's not really matte I would use this purple right here and that is the fourth row from the browns and it is the second color from the bottom and that's for if you would like to recreate um, a look or this look because I do really understand especially with Inglots it's really hard to get um, to get those colors and as far as the crease you can use like a darker um, purple or you can use a black um, to to go into the crease I'm personally going to use violet trance by Mac so let's get started we're gonna take the paint pot and milk and apply that to your whole lid so and then put my mirror where I can see it And let's see, I'll zoom in just a tad bit. I'm going to apply that to your whole lid. Okay. And I usually concentrate around this lash line. And blend it out. If you notice, I usually don't put a lot of um, color right there because I, I don't know. That's just me personally. But apply your your primer or your base color, however you would. Prior to this step, if you're going to be using this color all day, um, I would apply um, my Urban Decay Primer Potion or my Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance. So that's just FYI for you, though. And go right there. Okay. See, if I was bold, I would rock some white eyes. But I'm not that bold. <laughs> the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a flat shader brush. So you can use your 239. I'm just going to use any old brush. Actually, I'm looking for a specific old brush, but... Here it is. Okay. And we're going to go into that purple, that bluish purple color, which is going to be this one, or from your 120 palette, whichever color you found the closest. And you're going to pat that all over your lid. Look how pigmented that color is. Okay. And you're just going to apply that to the whole lid. Okay. And you notice I'm just patting because these are very, it's very powdery, but very pigmented. So if you pat it, you get more color impact, okay? 
Look at that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And this is also, I guess, to show you how good the uh, Inglots, like when I tell you they're very smooth, ultra smooth. And it's best just to dab your brush, not to swipe it across so you don't get a lot of, you know, um, excess, you know, powder in your palette. So do your whole entire lid. Okay. You see that? And then slowly just lightly bring it to the middle okay and blend it out around the edges there you go so the next step that I took was I took a crease brush and I went in with this really shiny purple color right there, right next to it. And you can use the other color. And I just, you know, just dabbed it a little bit. A little bit on the brush, tap it off. And I blended that above the crease. Okay. Blend that all the way over, windshield wiper, and above the crease. So that's what I had after that. And do the same thing to this side. Okay. Blend out that harsh line if you want, and up. so this is what you should have thus far and just look how those eyes pop yes um the next step is just to go in with a small crease brush and I went into violet trance if you have anything close to it um, you can either use a black if you, you know, really want to make this intense. And you just going to go into Violet Trance. Pick up a nice good amount. And you're just going to focus on that outer V area right here. And making that very dark and deep and deepening it. And I usually like to do that with my eyes over until, you know, it doesn't get too... Okay, you see what I'm doing? Just going into circles and blending it out. And there. There we go. And do that once again on this side. As you can see, I just do a V shape in the outer. And then I just really just work it in. Using circular motions. That's just my own personal thing. try to um, swerve it out and this line needs to be a little bit darker so we can come in with a little bit more okay stay tuned for part two